Oh, you can use the mic over here. And uh, your name and address for the record, please. Herb Jackson, Wallingford uh, with uh, WPAA. How's everybody doing this evening? Good, how are you? I can't complain. Uh, basically, the reason I'm here this evening is that uh, on the 19th, we asked for support on the matter of value that $285,000 of Wallingford cable. I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson, if you could just lean into the microphone a little better. Uh, they're not picking is up on TV. Is that better? Better. Okay. On the 19th, uh, excuse me, on the 19th, we asked for support on a matter of value that $285,000 of Wallingford cable subscribers passed through dollars. Nobody replies. We were wondering why this wasn't put onto the agenda. Yeah, so agenda items would be if someone had requested to put it on the agenda. Uh, I didn't take your email as a request to have an agenda item, um, but we certainly could put it on the next agenda. Okay, just want to make sure now the way that it was sent to you the first time, was that the proper way of doing it, or was there some type of error or anything? Yeah, so when you said you were looking for support, my understanding was that you were looking for support in a, um, in a non-official town council sense. Mm -hmm. So you, there's some kind of a resolution that you're looking to have passed? Not really. Oh, you know, feel free to reach out to me, though, and I'm happy to talk to you about how we can best meet your needs. I'll tell you what, if we can get it on the agenda again, then I can prepare a statement at that point in time for the next meeting. Yeah, so what, what, is there something you're looking to have yes. passed? Yes. Okay, why don't you and I speak then after the meeting? Um, I have your email, so I'm happy to get in touch with you, and we can, we can talk about you know, what your needs are and see about getting it. Not a it problem. So you want to talk to us after, after the meeting tonight, or you want to? Or I can get in touch with you tomorrow or, or at a later date. That would be fine. Okay. All right. Fine. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Susan Heisinger, 36 Surrey Drive, but most of the time at 28 South Orchard Street, mm -hmm. tethered to the building. Um, following up on that same topic, um, I just want to be clear that in 20, 2008 and 2010, WPA made an effort to get on the agenda for support related to this matter and uh, did not get on the agenda. Um, we were told that it was a matter in conflict with the town. So we wanted to be clear um, that it is or is not in conflict with the town now. Um, and it is subscriber fees. It's not, um, it's revenue that I want to be clear that everyone understands that there's a cable bill and on that cable bill, there is a fee, it's not a tax, and it passes through to providers of community television. So it's not the cable company's money, it's the people of Wallingford's money that we're asking potentially be restored. And there was an in-depth study in 2023 that happened at the state level that actually surfaced uh, data that wasn't previously available in the 2008 and 2010 timeframe. So there's new evidence that what may, might have been done in our opinion was not in was in conflict with the law, and it cost Wallingford subscribers approximately $285,000, which is more than the cost that we put into our building. So we do hope we can get on the agenda with a, a firm resolution of support from you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else from the public? <laughs> 